In this video, we'll be going over how to find the moment about the x and y axis of a graph of a 2D shape. To begin, what is a moment? It is a force making something pivot or want to pivot times the distance to that pivot point or moment arm. We will be interested in two different moments, the moment about the x-axis and the moment about the y-axis. As you can see here, the shape is spinning around the axis as if the side next to the axis is attached and is a pivot point. Now let's solve for the moment about the x-axis for a rectangle using calculus. I'm going to rotate the x and y axis to make it so it is much like a previous moment diagram video I made. Looking at this, it's like every section of this rectangle is like a moment diagram for a cantilever beam with a uniformly distributed load acting on it. So recall from that video that the max shear force would be the density times the length, which in this case is y. Also recall from that video that the area of the shear diagram is the max moment for the cantilever beam. Thinking back to geometry, the area of a triangle is one half the base times the height. So we can plug in our base length of the shear diagram of y and our height of the shear diagram of density times y. Now recall that y on a graph is found by taking the function and plugging in the x-axis value at that point. So we can plug in fx into the area of a triangle equation. After reducing it, we get that 1 half times the density times fx squared being equal to the moment at a given point. So recall in calculus that we are interested in how this value changes between two points, b and a in this case. So we can integrate this max moment formula with respect to x to get the moment of any shape that can be defined by a function. Also recall that we can sum up moments. So if we have two functions, f and g, we can find the moment of the area between these two functions by taking fx and subtracting gx. So our formula is the moment about the x-axis is equal to the density times the integral from point b to point a for 1 half fx squared minus gx squared with respect to dx. Now let's find the formula for the moment about the y-axis. I have flipped the x and y-axis to the correct orientation. So looking at this rectangle, we have thin slivers that are x distance away from the pivot point. So our x is the moment arm and these small slivers are the force. The small slivers can be defined as density times the function at a given point on the x-axis, which is the length at a given point. So the formula for the moment about the y-axis at this point is x times the density times the length of the line at a given point on the x-axis, which is the function x. The formula for the moment about the y-axis for a given area is the density times the integral from b to a of x times fx minus gx with respect to x. That concludes this video. Hope you have earned a like, share, or subscription. If you enjoyed this video, you may enjoy one of these videos as well. Let me know how I'm doing in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.